Good afternoon, morning, welcome back to Turbo Tortoise Take. If you're new here, my name is Reese Full Peace from KFC or Wiki Triple XL. And in today's review, I'm finally finishing up the Icon headset reviews. Now I kept the three USB headsets for the end because these are PC specific and are only going to be compatible with PC, sorry, PS4 guys. But there's still four other headsets that you can use at least. These three, however, while they are the same, they're kind of completely different. So all of them have stringy headbands or suspension headbands. All of them have USB more with built-in sound cards. All of them have RGB and all of them have built-in microphones. They all have on-ear headset controls. And that's where the similarities sort of end. Starting off with the Voik, I think, Voik, 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 because there's no E, I, I have no idea what it, Voik, this is what I'm going to go with, with this headset. These have the exact same driver that you get in the base, and the, by base, I mean like a lot, like 15 inch subwoofer kind of effect from these headphones. They're incredibly good if you're listening to a lot of like hip hop and house and that sort of music. Then the audio profile from this is going to suit you a lot. Gaming performance is still pretty good. The stereo split is still pretty good. It's good enough that left and right is easily discernible. And the microphones on average with the rest of the headset range. The fit, however, is a little bit different. While it's got nice cushy ear pads and a really nice headband on it and they are quite comfortable they do leave a bit of a gap on people with fat heads like myself i have tested with another fat head gentleman and he had the exact same experience and there was like a little gap underneath the bottom over there so if you've got a wider head you're going to lose some sound isolation but uh, it doesn't really detract from the base effect let me put it that way it, it, it was still incredibly bassy Moving on to the tricks though, these are more like the Vixa where they've got a bit more of a voice sort of chat effect set up to them. The audio profile on this, you want to add some bass boost to it, then it's actually quite flat to be honest and it will give more of a like a kind of a reference sound pattern to it. It's not going to be on the same quality as the reference headset by any means at 400 Rand but they have that more flat kind of profile. The fit on these, however, is that much better. They were much more comfortable and the pads and stuff were sitting quite nicely on the head. And like I said, they, they all have the volume slider on the back of the headset. So the, these two are the same in that kind of facet and very, very similar for the most part until I got to the audio profile. Then on my right, we have the Edge. Now the Edge is more a middle of the road kind of product. Without bass boost, it's still got pretty good bass, but not as extreme as the Voik. If you add bass boost, then it comes up to kind of being like the Voik, but they have a more uh, mid-range kind of profile. And these are a little bit more gaming focused than the other two. The, like I say, this is like a media headset, this is a voice chat headset. This one is specifically more gaming orientated. And they reminded me a lot of the Alpha wired version. They're very, very similar to that, albeit obviously with USB. One thing that was interesting is specifically with these is the microphone itself has an on off switch on the microphone. The other two just terminate in a red capped end like I've seen actually many, many times on various headsets. But not these, these have a on off switch on the end of the microphone. The shape as well is more elongated for the actual ear cup. The, the, these perfectly encompass the ear. There was nothing touching on top or bottom, but these have just got a little bit of a longer profile. So if you do have Bakura and you are picking up a DSTV on a regular basis, then this will probably be the better headset for you. As I've said, all of them are, are USB and they do come with pretty long cables. Just under two meters is what I tested to. So full 1.8 from the headset casually. So you will have quite a comfortable setup from your PC if it's sitting on the desk next to you, you or even on the floor, you would then have enough headset or enough cable to sit quite comfortably with your headset. All in all, encompassing this range in a nutshell, the value is just super, super solid. Like there are cheaper headsets in the market and um, obviously a lot more expensive ones, but for like the money, these just make a lot of sense. 400 bucks for a headset of this kind of build quality and, and design and feature set is really good. And the thing I like about the USB as well is if your onboard sound card dies, 
your sound doesn't die with it. You can plug these into literally anything and you're gonna get the exact same experience, which I, I like a lot. You're not reliant on having a better sound card to get a better audio quality. This will take care of everything for you. Anyway, that is all we have time for today. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe and I will see you on the flip side.